Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we will be looking at this device that I created as my personal voice assistant with home assistant. Now I created this device using ESP32, a speaker, a microphone and an LED strip. So today I will show you how I created this device. So let's get started. To start off, let's look at this model that I created. So now this is a 3D printed model. I will provide the STL links to this model in the description below as well as in the blog that I will create. So let's explore what are the various things about this 3D model. So this is a circular shape model in which I have fixed in right now only one speaker here. but the idea is to put in the second speaker here also. Now, right now, let's look at the behind section. So I have fixed the speaker using hot glue and this is the hot glue that I've put in here. For the lights, I have used this LED strip. So now this is a individual addressable LED strip that is there. And using this strip, I will light up this voice assistant such that whenever home assistant detects a wake word, it will turn on this LED strip in this circular fashion telling me that hey it's right now listening to your voice command. So that's the idea right now. So now let's look at the part wherein where we will be putting the ESP32. So initially my idea was to put the ESP32 in this direction here but I figured out that um, the wires would not fit in so that's the reason I changed the direction and now what I'll be doing is I'll be using this ESP32, which is the USB-C powered one, and I'll be placing it in this direction. So I'll be putting it this way, and I have put in these stilts here. So these are plastic stilts that I've mounted here using hot glue, and I'm fixing them in this direction right now. So what I'll be doing is I'll be connecting the wires to this here, and then afterwards I'll put in a little bit of hot glue here such that it remain stable this part i will now cover it with probably some kind of a tape or something like that and then this will look really nice now i'm not an expert in soldering so the shortcut mechanism that i'm using is i'm going to use these jumper cables and then i'm going to connect them directly and i'm going to use hot glue for this so that's what i'm going to do for this right now if you see we have the speaker here, right? Now you need some kind of an audio amplifier for this. So I'll be using this Max 98357A. Let it focus a bit. So Max 98357A. And this is a three watt output amplifier supporting four to eight ohms of speakers. So this supports I2S audio channel and using ESP Home, we will channel the audio using this audio amplifier. Now this is for the audio part. Let's look at the input part that is this microphone. So I'm using this INMP441. So this is a omnidirectional microphone. It's pretty cheap. I got it for like nearly three euros from AliExpress. I'll provide links to all of these components into the description below as well as into my blog. So now in my previous video, I had shown you this setup here wherein I had shown you how you can use an ESP32 with microphone here. So this is the same microphone that is here and the speaker is present here as well as the audio amplifier. So I programmed this ESP32 using ESP Home and then connected to Home Assistant using the ESP Home. While I was doing this experimentation, I figured out that when the LED comes on, the light kind of bleeds out. Basically, uh, the light gets fired in the center direction, but it does not come out as such, right? So that's why I created this kind of a cover. So what my plan is right now is to put in this cover this way, such that whatever LED that gets turned on, it will now fire all the light from here only. It will not bleed out inside. Now while doing this, I figured out that I need to make some space for this section here. So right now, this which fits here right now, I have to cut it out such that I give some space for the ESP32 as well as give some space for this wires also. So let me do that right now and get back to you. So right now I have cut this section here so as to allow me to 
connect this here and give some gap for the ESP32 as well as these wires that are going to come in here. Okay, so there we go. So it's now sitting flush inside. So there is no gap now for the light to bleed out. And this is how it is right now. So let me actually put the ESP32 back here and it sits perfectly. So now this is also helping me to level this USB-C port also. And this is how it's going to be right now. So this takes care about the LED part, right? And all the connections are here. Now, where am I going to put this microphone? So for this microphone, I have this small slot here. So I have this slot here wherein I will actually, so I will have the microphone like this in this direction, such that this hole allows me to actually have the microphone input. So that's what I'm going to do right now. But it looks like I can make a small little dent here such that this fits in flush like this. So let's do that. I'm going to now make a small little incision here. So right now what I've done here is I have now made a small incision here such that this microphone can now fit in flush. So once this microphone is now placed here, this will be actually from where it will be listening to. So that's what I've done. I've also made this hole a little bit bigger than how it was originally there. So right now I've just melted it a little bit so that this hole is a bit bigger. Let's look at the connections that we need to do. So before that, let's look at those, these things that have been done. So I have covered this entire LED strip with this section right now. And I have one speaker in place. Let's put the other speaker. So I have this speaker here. I'm going to put this here and there we go. So this one is also now in place. So now let's place this here and we are now going to do the circuit diagram that we can see here on the screen. So here, the circuit diagram, which is there, I'm going to make the connections for all of these things. So let me start doing the connections now. Okay, so with this, I have now connected the speakers to this amplifier. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the connections that are required. For this, I'm going to use this jumper cable and I'm going to connect this. So the wiring of the speakers are now completed. Let's actually now do the part for the microphone. So let me connect this now. So now this should seal the connection to this microphone. And we are now going to connect to the final piece that is we are going to connect it to the ESP32. So I have this ESP32 here. Let's actually connect this. Now, before I made the connection with the ESP32, I need to make this common connections, which is this right now that is connecting the BLC and the LRC pins with the WS and the SCK pins. So that's what I've done here right now. I've made these common connections between the microphone and the audio amplifier. Now I'm going to actually connect this to the ESP32. So now I have everything connected in this jungle of wires here. Uh, all the different components that we need are all connected. The WLED strip is connected. Everything is now connected to this ESP32. Now what we need to do is actually flash our code. So let's look at the code that we need here. Now this is my ESP home dashboard. Now if you have not set up ESP home, there's a link somewhere here wherein I've shown you how to set up ESP home in home assistant. So right now I'm running this separately using Docker container so I can access the UI directly. So now let's actually create a new device. So I'm going to click on new device here and I'm going to click on continue and let's call this as wireless assistant. Now I'm going to click on next and I'm going to select ESP32. So now this is the encryption key that we might need while connecting to home assistant. Right now I'm going to click on skip here and I'm going to go inside this wireless assistant. Inside this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this code here. So this is the code that I need right now to flash onto my ESP32. And let me explain you the various aspects for this. So as you can see, we have these connections that are being made, the I2S audio connection. Then we have the microphone here with the DN pin connected to GPIO 33. Then here I'm using a media player. 
So what's the advantage of the media player is that I can control the volume of the output of the speakers. So that's why I'm using media player. Right now at this moment when I'm releasing this video, the media player is not supported yet with this voice assistant because there was a bug related to this and this is right now fixed and it is working on the dev branch. So by the time we have the December release of Home Assistant 2023, that is 2023.12 version, you will get this fix. So I'm already using the dev version, so that's why I can use this right now. So considering this is there and it you have already 2023.12 version of Home Assistant, it should not be a problem. Now here what I'm doing is I'm connecting the media player here using this ID from here as well as the microphone, which is this ID from here. Okay. Now these are the various parts that I've just connected together, right? Now I had to actually do the stuffs related to when it detects a wake word, what it should do, what it should not do. And that's what I have configured here. So let me show you the part about the LED strip. So if I go down here, I have this LED strip, which is connected to pin 32 here. And I have one of the effects that I have put in here that is the scan effect with custom values. So I have kept in certain values here such that I can do that round scan thing with the LED strip. Now let's look at one more configuration here. So if I go back up here, here on wake word detected, what I'm doing is I'm turning on the LED and then afterwards when it is going into the listening mode, I'm turning on the LED strip with the effect being set up. Here I'm specifying the color that I need to display into the LED strip. And finally, what I'm doing here is when the speech to text is completed, I'm turning it on, but setting the values to green here. So here I'm setting the LED strip to be green when the speech to text completes. Finally, we have certain error conditions here. So I have said that if there is some kind of an error, then I just turn on the LED strip in the none mode that means it will just display something in white color um, along with these there are some fixes that i had to do this is meant for all the voice assistants that are creating using esp32 and you are running the assist pipeline completely local so you will need these fixes also i will provide the entire yaml into my blog which i will link into the description below so you can get all of this configuration and figure things out along with this this binary sensor is also needed to make sure that the connection with home assistant remains stable all the time so this is what is there also and finally we have this switch which is required for enabling and disabling the wake word so this is what these configurations are now what we're going to do is we are actually going to now go ahead and install this so for the initial sake i will have to install it manually so i'm going to download it manually here and let it compile and create the binary and i'm going to download this on my laptop so now i'm going to select here the modern format i'm going to click on this and i'm going to save this now Next, what I have to do is I have to flash this binary. So for this, I'm going to use this web.esphome.io and I'm now going to connect my ESP32 to my laptop using the USB cable. So let me do that if I find this. So I have this USB cable. I'm going to now connect this here. And for the first time, what I need is I need to actually hold the boot button here. So there's this boot button and I'm going to hold it while I connect this to my laptop. So I have connected this to my laptop. Now I'm going to click on connect here. I'm going to select my ESP32 and then I'm going to click on install and I'm going to select the binary file from here. So let me click on this and I'm going to click on install. Now I'm going to wait till it goes into this erasing phase and I'm going to leave my boot button from here. So now this will start installing the binary that we just downloaded from our ESP home. So let it install this right now. Now our ESP32 is successfully flashed with the code. Now what we have to do the interesting part that is connected to home assistant. So let me close this here and let me go to my home assistant. So this is my home assistant instance and I'm going to click on devices and services. 
and here you should be able to see the device already so now it has not figured out this device yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on integration and i'm going to search for esp home here and here i'm going to put in the ip address of my esp32 so i have figured out this is the ip address so i'm going to click on submit now and then it's going to ask me for the encryption key so let me put in this encryption key from here i'm going to copy the api encryption key and i'm going to paste it so there we go uh wireless assistant is now connected to home assistant let's go ahead and see this device now so i'm going to go to esp home here and i'm going to click on this device and as you can see we have the esp32 configured in a home assistant right first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my pipeline that is the home assistant pipeline and the speaking detection i'm just going to keep it as default now the use wake word is on so let's try it actually so before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this device so now the moment of truth let's try this hey jarvis turn on the dashboard turned on switch there we go so it's all working all fine right now so now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put all these components inside properly stitch it up put hot glue so that it fixes things properly and then show you the final output so before that i want to show you how i made this circular thing so my initial idea was something related to having an acrylic plate which would be a little bit on the darker side and then i could cut it into a round shape but now i don't know how to do that as well as as well as finding something like this similar was pretty difficult so i did a small shortcut here so what i did was you must have seen envelopes like this so these are some envelopes that you get to keep your papers i've used this type of an envelope for this and i created this round thing from that so i placed this on on that plastic thing and then afterwards i traced it around and i cut it into this round shape so now and i put this on top of this it looks really sexy so let me try this again hey jarvis turn on the dashboard turn on switch so there we go it looks really nice with this so let me now put all these components inside and place it over here so now i have connected everything inside and it is now looking like this so this is how my voice assistant is going to look like so let's go ahead and trigger this using the wake word hey jarvis turn on the dashboard turn on switch so there we go so now i'm going to use this as my daily driver for voice assistant to invoke home assistant using the wake word so i hope you were able to understand how i created this personal voice assistant for me which works with home assistant now in my next video i'll be showing you how you can route the output of the voice assistant to an external speaker using home assistant so make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come till then take care and i'll see you in my next one